Okie dokie, folks. It is Drummer. And we are starting our new LP. Which, if you catch, caught my last video, you know what we're playing here. We're going to be playing it on the Game Boy Player. And, uh, yeah. So, uh... Let's see. Two we don't want to clear. And I know one we don't want to clear. Where's three? Oh! Three's... But you don't need to clear three. Oh, cool. So, here's our Let's Play of Metroid 2, folks. Been a while since we did an LP, hasn't it? We've just kind of been... Doing random videos, you know what I mean by we, the royal we, the editorial I. All you Lebowski fans out there. Um, but I thought, let's have fun playing this old thing because shit. You're gonna love me for saying this if you're following Reddit and the whole GameStop stock thing. But yes, this copy of Metroid 2 was bought at a GameStop way back when. It was a mall branch, too. Um, so, Metroid 2, obviously a little less flexible than Super Metroid, it being the third one, this being the second one. But I guess if you've played Return of Samus on the DS, you know, there's a solid-ass remake of this game out there, and by God, some people might even ask, why are you playing the clunky-ass original, you know? Alright, well, it's not that I have any bone to pick with the remake, but it's, you know, capturing a DS, because I have the remake. <laughs> capturing a 3DS is not exactly... Well, it's not rocket science. It does require some skill with soldering, as I understand. Which, you know... I sort of kind of have. I mean, I fixed analog GameCube sticks that way, but... What I should have done is fire a damn missile here. Here's our first Metroid of the game. A lot earlier than the first game. We got our ass whooped. Fortunately, the game is kind of nice to you at the beginning. <laughs> Those are your recharge stations. So that's what to look for in this game. Flashing ball of light and a flashing vertical missile. I believe the horizontal missile is one that gives you 10 more capacity in this game. And then there's energy tanks, and beams, and all that other good shit, just like any other Metroid game. So... Fucking what makes this game special, what makes it different from, say, Super Metroid and LP you may have seen on my channel, well... As I said, it's less flexible. It's, for one thing, I mean, you can crouch, but... It being a Game Boy game, and basically being limited to the NES controls, you don't have an L and R, so try to play on any GameCube controller, L and R aren't gonna do dick. So, good luck with all that. Uh, so in other words, you can't aim diagonally. Uh, but you can crouch and shoot down, which has always been... One of the nice things compared to at least the original Metroid about this game. So, here's you got your save station. And we're gonna go ahead and press save there. And if you'd have been here earlier, before you killed that Metroid, there'd have been some lava in these pits. Yeah, that earthquake was basically lava going down. 
Be unlike the remake, which is very straightforward about how you have to lower the acid, you're just supposed to guess here that killing a Metroid does so. And that you're allowed to travel further down into areas after killing a certain number of Metroids down on your ticker. That counter of which you'll see in the lower right. Obviously you see a icon of a fucking jellyfish next to a number. We got 38 left on the planet to kill. Our E is our energy, that's third, uh, what, 78, 73 right now, and, uh, obviously, what else could the other thing be but our missiles? Which you press select to toggle between missile and non-missile mode. Uh, pretty basic, pretty simple, but I mean, you know, I gotta say, this game... I don't know. I could be done with this LP tonight if I really wanted to. And I mean, that would be going ham on some YouTube videos. But, no. Like, this game does not take me long to do at all. Like, it and what? It, I've just, I beat the game so many times as a kid. Like, as a kid, I say kid, like, 12, 13. Um, and I know, that here's, I have a funny story about this one, um, I can't, I mean, eh, big deal, uh, I've said this maybe a couple times on my channel before, how I'm kind of in the film industry on the lower end, so to speak, uh, background actor as they call it, but, um, basically one day, I was doing a show, and somebody happened to have an emulator of this game on their phone, and I think, what was it, we were just sitting in background holding, where they keep you until they need you for a scene, it was hours before they needed us again, so... Like, they actually, they never needed me again that entire night. So, like, I was kind of done working by about, let's say, 8, 9, 10 at night. And somebody brings up, hey, I've got Metro 2 on my phone, dude, you want to play? I'm like, fuck yeah, I'll beat it for you. And, uh, suffice to say, if you work film, you know how it goes, but I don't suspect many of you do. Um, basically... I beat this fucking game before we wrapped. <laughs> and he was like, dude, that's an achievement. <laughs> you gotta fucking, like, write that down somewhere, man. You beat Metro 2 on a fucking film set in, like, three hours. <laughs> uh, I forget when rap was, like, 2 a.m. or something. Our first red door! If you've played any Metro game, you know what the fuck that means. And there's a missile down there. We can't get it. But that's a bomb. And now we can. Yay. Woohoo. All right, all right, all right. First missile expansion of the day. And was there anything over here? Nope. <laughs> I always check. But anyway. Yeah, you can do a little short hop here, if you want, I don't know why, not really any point, maybe it skips a frame or two, not right there though, yeah, I wonder, does that do anything, is that a quick, quick travel method, mm, if you can get it consistent maybe? Yeah, I don't show you the trick here, but, you know. Well, ha, come on. How come it didn't work? Come on. Yeah, see, you roll off a surface and no more if you can jump. Just like in Metroid Prime 2. How fun. How fun that the twos in the series have that glitch. Alright. I want to say we go up here for the spider ball. Yeah, it sure looks like it, because 
we go over here, and you can't go up there without it. There's a Metroid up there. Yes, there is. Amazing soundtrack, by the way, we've got now. Some little blippity bloop. All right, that is your spider ball. Yeah, if you want to look at this video and this LP as somewhat of a guide to play Metroid 2, you've come to the right place, because I know this game pretty damn well. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? I go brag about it every time. Every time I praise myself in a video, something bad goes. Fucking happens, man. This is bullshit. Bullshit. I get cocky, man. Yeah, hey, shut up. I'm not getting cocky. All right. I played this game. God damn, 16 years at least. <laughs> 17, boy. I realize that only goes back to 04 when I bought it at GameStop. It's okay, here's the lovely trick fire one missile. Uh, 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 yeah, fuck you. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, oh, oh. You're dead, motherfucker. Alright. Cool. Now, as I recall, is there anything up here? I was... I think... I think this first area, I always end up wasting my time up there. So, you know what? Fuck it. I'm not going up there. Um... That, we're trying to get the good ending this time. But, let's see, what time are we right at? Well, we're doing alright, okay. I mean, I killed him, but you could have just jumped off his laser. You can, if you get the timing right. So good at this too. Eh, 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 eh. Booyah! All right, we still got it. <laughs> I know, I know. You could have used a spider ball. I know, I know. Before you say anything, Kevin, why did you use the spider ball? Oh, I know. Watch the video first. God damn. Job, Samus. Uh, what are we doing? This far? Okay. I know I'm missing a couple things here, but I'll get back to it. Uh, let's see. Is that faster? I don't know. Maybe not. 
There we are, alright. Here's our save station, so we're gonna call it quits on this video. But stay tuned for part two, folks, where we continue to explore Choso Ruins and kill Metroids and get, I don't know, try to actually explain something about this game. Peace out, folks. <laughs>